Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here. I've just extended the XPages social enabler to support a single sign-on between XPages and Domino and not only in the UI but also between um, backend calls so that you can now invoke connections REST API calls from your XPages applications without having to authenticate again. Now the single sign-on um, in the backend has already been um, possible um, previously in the social enabler. Um, however, in that case, users had to log in once against connections and the credentials were stored in a server-side credential store on Domino. So this is the, the old version of the single sign-on. Um, and again, in this case, you would have to authenticate as a user um, using username and password and basic authentication and then you could choose whether or not you would want to store your credentials in this server-side credential store. Now um, what I've done now is to extend this mechanism um, to use the LTPA token or LTPA tokens instead. And that idea actually came from um, Reed Gesteland uh, who implemented a very similar mechanism for the Lotusphere online system earlier this year. So um, we blogged about that on the OpenNTF blog and the code is actually um, pretty simple. It's basically only um, to set two um, cookies as you can see here. Um, what I've done now is to basically translate this um, snippet here into um, social enabler um, so that you don't have to um, install or use the Abdera client and so that you could also benefit from other social enabler um, um, advantages and, and convenience APIs. So <clears throat> let's take a look how this looks like. This is now my um, connection server and I'm opening here the All Communities um, page and um, as you can see I'm not logged in. And I don't log in against connections now directly, but instead um, I'm going to open here this um, NSF, the um, X page application. And since that doesn't allow anonymous access, I need to um, authenticate. Okay, so now I'm authenticated um, and I'm logged in as Frank Adams against Domino. And I'm also logged in against um, connections when I do a refresh here you can see that I'm now logged in as Frank Adams against connections as well. So that's kind of the UI single sign-on um, that you get when you just configure um, single sign-on between WebSphere and Domino. Now, in addition to that, um, you know, I, I implemented this um, single sign-on using LTT LTPA in the backend. The sample um, database here comes with um, some sample pages that access connections, connections files and activities communities. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I open this one page here and, and this is now a file from connections that required authentication. And the same mechanism works now for um, communities um, as well as activities. And in order to show that, uh, to, to prove that, um, I can go back here and open my activities. And this is the same test activity that you see now also in my X page application and again I, I didn't have to authenticate. Now um, how did I do that and what do you have to do in order to use that functionality? Well first of all you need to wait a little bit for um, um, another version of the social enabler because um, we obviously want to contribute that to OpenNTF and to add it to the social enabler. Um, and then I had to do um, a couple of other things. So first of all I'm using here the um, the, the quick start image, as we call it, from the IBM Smart Cloud, um, which comes with Domino 8.5.2 and Connections 3.0.1. And I just updated my Domino version to 8.5.3 on that image. Um, and I also um, had to enable manually single sign-on um, because that doesn't work out of the box. And I um, described here in a blog entry, a earl, um, blog entry earlier this week how to do that. And if you know how to do it, it's a matter of five or 10 minutes to get that done. And this is the kind of the, the, the setup for the UI authentication or the UI single sign-on. And now in order to use the backend single sign-on, um, you can use a new so-called endpoint uh, it's the LTPA endpoint bean 
that you can put in your faces config and all you can uh, all you need to do there is to refer to the URL of your connection server um, and then um, in order to to use that endpoint um, for all the samples in this X pages SPT sample application I just pointed the um, um, connections variable here to my endpoint rather than the basic authentication endpoint. And once I had done that, I didn't have to change anything else in the sample application. Um, all the existing sample code works. In this case, um, we display the, the files from connections and um, you know you, you define the data source here using this connections file data. And then you can use repeat controls or um, view controls or view panels, like in this case here. Um, you define the uh, link to your file service um, data, um, and that's it. And then you can bind the values um, to your view columns in the exact same way as you do it also for domino views. So that's it. That's as easy as it is to consume this functionality. And again, um, I hope we can um, contribute that soon um, to the social enabler, um, which is part of the extension library on OpenNTF.